Today on SA News, very excited to have Robert Vince with the Airbud series. Love the series, legacy series, and new on Disney Plus. Today here with Robert Vince. Welcome to SA News. Hey Xavier, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, yeah. Can you share with me what does it mean to be a part of this uh, exciting legacy Airbud that's part of Disney Plus? You know, Airbud was made uh, 25 years ago by by myself and our company, which is called Airbud Entertainment. Hey boy. You like basketball? Mom, do you remember when I used to have a hamster? Want another hamster? Not exactly. Hey, boy, come again! Come again! No way. So it was a, it was kind of, it was this sort of a, you know, unique moment we call lightning in the bo bottle moment where something really special happens. We saw, we uh, discovered that the, through the trainer, uh, Kevin DeChico, this dog that played basketball and uh, you know, it, it was just like something that had to be made. So that was 20, over 25 years ago. And so it's become a, you know, not only a, a movie, but a multi-generational brand uh, where, you know, Folks that uh, were were kids when they saw it are now parents, um, and themselves, and uh, the parents are now grandparents. So, and then you know the Gen Zs watch the Air Buddies franchise as well. So, you know we have this sort of unique uh, uh, movie and brand and character that has extended so many generations. Kind of like uh, how Mickey Mouse became Disney. You know, so it's uh, we're not there yet. We're getting close. But. <laughs> <laughs> but you know so it's special for us and then being on disney plus at this time is it which reunites all of our uh Airbud uh movies so that's all 14 of them are on all on disney plus now it's, it's pretty special and we really are looking forward to re to introducing to the uh kids uh that that are the children of the of the children that saw Airbud originally um, to to Airbud, uh, the Airbud character in the Airbud movie, it's because it is something special. It wouldn't be around this long with this much sort of you know love and and notoriety if it if it wasn't just more than a dog who played basketball. There's something special about that movie. Seems like now we have this Airbud universe. What do we have to look forward to coming up soon? This is kind of our first tap, and and some of the things we're doing, putting back out on uh, Disney Plus. Uh, with all our others, so so, and then uh, we do we do have a series coming for kids. We want to now, uh, uh, you know, introduce uh, younger kids to Airbud. So we have a three D animated series that we're doing, which will come out next year, um, called the Air Buddy, Air Bud, Air, Air Buddy. Uh, so Air 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 Bud as a puppy, you know, and uh, you know, so kind of like it's a it's a uh, you know, it's it's kind of a special series. It's sport. It has a sports theme behind it all, but it's it's really for the younger younger kids, not the little kids, but the younger kids. Um, and uh, I mean, I mean, four four year old and above kind of thing. Uh, and then after that, we have a movie that's coming out uh, that we call Airbud Returns because we don't want to divulge the title; it tells too much. But it's, it's a whole new movie. It's a whole relaunch movie that we're doing that we're super excited about. We obviously have been working on these things. We you know we made all these movies. With Airbud and other and other shows and movies in our company, but which are similarly kind of family orientated. Um, but the you know this was this was the time. This is when millennials who grew up with Airbud are now parents themselves. So we had to wait for that to occur. I think to really do a relaunch on the movie, and that's so I've been thinking about this forever. But certainly <laughs> in the last five years, really focusing on it to make sure that we do something special. We want to do something really special. We don't want to just make another sequel. Um, I think we got something that that is, is both surprising, unique, and and, and it's really the untold story. Something uh -huh. that something that really captures all of it is going to give the uh, pe the people, millennials in particular, that saw about it. It's going to have this. We're going to be hearkening back to the the other movie, but at the same time, we're going to do something uh, sort of uh, special as well. It's different, and and that's what I've been looking for. I've been working on this for a while like what what can we do that's really gonna not be a sequel but really i think i think creed did that really well i think there's other um uh, uh you know relaunches that have been done that's kind of more what we're we're going for you know and we know with the airbud brand we know what to expect uh yeah. us as um as as parents as fathers and mothers we know 
that we can just sit our kid in front of the you know TV and watch this or engage with it, and it, it brings up imagination and 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 all of that. Everyone around here is like Airbud, Airbud. Oh, great! That's you know uh, everyone has their own Airbud story. Um, what's what's the Airbud story that the people bring up to you the most when when people know that this is part of uh, your world and what you've been doing for so many years? You know, it, it, it's so it's so. Um... Well, no. Like I always say to people, if they don't believe me that the brand, how big the brand is, I go, I, I go outside. Go, there's a park outside of me where I said, go find somebody that doesn't know the name Airbud or what Airbud is, and and then ask them if they've seen the movie. You know, and I, and that that's happened to me. I remember I was in uh, I was in Beijing. We were doing uh, we did a uh, a deal with Aichi in China. It was a while ago, and uh, they they you know I was like, oh, you know. Um, you know, do you know Airbud? Because we never licensed it to, to China. <laughs> but of course, they've been pirated for so many years. Right, right. Uh, one of the guys came, he showed up at the meeting with his gold retriever. He said, this was, my parents gave this to me if I got a, a A's in school. And it was right. my, and I said, well, how well known was it? He said, oh, everybody's seen Airbud. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was kind of a fun story. But I think that, you know, from uh, professional athletes like LeBron James and uh, who, uh, you know, say I literally wore out that VHS tape when I was a kid to wow. Steph Curry, who's like, this is the, the movie that we watched over and over again. And to uh, someone like Matt Scott, who's a, a, you know, a Paralympic athlete who's three time gold medalist for the United States saying that this made everything. I, I, I play basketball because of everybody. Wow. So, so, you know, professional athletes, but then I also hear from, you know, uh, people that were really connected to the uh, emotional side of everybody because it was a boy, it was a, a boy that was really um, Josh and Kevin Zager played so well. It was a boy that was lonely and had lost his father. So right. there was real meaning behind it. And, um, uh, and you know, basically, Buddy had been an abused, had been an abused dog. So there was a boy saving a dog, and a dog saving a boy. So there's something very special about how they lifted each other up as a real movie. And I hear that a lot too. I hear that a lot. I heard from, uh, you know, I talked to a, a young guy who grew up in a foster home, mm -hmm. and not a very pleasant foster home. That's not all the, always the case, but not a very pleasant situation. And he said, uh, whenever he felt he felt bad, he always watched everybody because he thought that could happen to him too, where he could wow. find a dog. And 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 he's a very successful person, and we've um, we stayed in touch. So I hear those stories too, you know, about you know how and now folks, people your age that grew up with everybody mm -hmm. that say, hey, you know, it wasn't just that a dog played basketball. That was the fun. That was the end. That was the hook. That was everything that made us as kids want to watch it. Right. But the mess the messages were really important, and and that's really why the movie has stood the test of time, really. And that's, you know, people always say to me, "Oh, you know, everybody was a dog play basketball," and, and it is that's true, and I'm, yeah. I say that. But you know, especially when I'm dealing with people at the studios, they're like, "Oh, it's a dog that plays basketball." I know it. I'm like, "Really? Is it? Is that what you're getting from that?" Because really, what it is, it's a movie with a lot of gravitas, a lot of feeling, a lot of um, uh, family values. Uh, you know, some real. Um, real spiritual values to it is it it's so much more it wouldn't be here 25 years if it was just a bunch of you know goofiness you know uh yes. so, and that's what i try to you know look i'm a i preach this all the time it's really really hard nowadays to make really meaningful family movies with with the, with uh streaming because they their point of view is that hey you know we get we, we can make another action movie and we'll get more people on it so you know, it's, it's, it's a battle, but you know, it was a battle back then. I don't know. I have I told the story only a few times. I know you're very family oriented as am I. And, uh, you know, it, it, it like back, everybody goes, Oh, everybody, made, you know, we, everybody turned us down on everybody. Disney didn't make everybody. We made everybody and we licensed it to Disney because they turned it down. Wow. <laughs> it was after the fact. <laughs> so, so, you know, uh, it, 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 it's a battle, like making my career is family movies. That's, that's what I make. You know, right. I, and, uh, that's what I love to do. I, I don't want to do anything else. So there are people that ask me, what, what do, you, do you want to do something else? I go, not really. Cause yeah. this, this, I don't need an Academy Award. What, my Academy Award is literally talking to somebody like uh, the gentleman I told you about that was, uh, um, it's now like your age who mm -hmm. grew up in a foster home and that changed right. his life. So that's what I care about. So everybody cares about different things. I, I don't need a gold statue. 
<laughs> right. You know, spiritual and family values is all about um, when I think about the brand, I think about how so many families and so many different races, religions, uh, just all across the board, they have Airbud VHS or DVDs in their homes. Okay. So um, that's definitely right. Um, then there are other things like, well, we got to check that first because we're not sure about what this is. It looks a little outlandish, but you know what to expect. And it's just basic right. family values. It's like welcoming to just normal baseline of just love and respect and and um, understanding. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's what every... I think that's what every family of any sort of whatever their religion is or the makeup of the parents or whatever the beliefs are, it's all universal. It all comes down to the same thing, you know? Yeah. I mean, like it, it really, we're all after the same thing for our families, for our kids. Right. Definitely. Our Mission family. driven media. That's definitely what I see in Airbud and excited yeah. that all these people can see it. So how much stuff can they start seeing on um, Disney plus now? So, so all the all the fair. This is the first time all five movies have been on Disney Plus. So the all the Airbud collection is there now, and uh, and including now then the Air Buddies, which is uh, the franchise we did afterwards, which is talk, the Talking Animal Puppies franchise, right? And that was nine movies. <laughs> and, uh, so so and, and then uh, it was Santa Paws. So that includes Santa Paws, which are the Christmas orientated uh, films that have been so successful. They're still the most successful movies family movies on 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 disney and they the, the last one we made was in 2013 wow that's great so, and, and then everybody's 25 years old so you know they, look yeah i i always laugh when i hear people say well you know in streaming we need more action oriented i'm like great well i got 20 i got 14 movies <laughs> <laughs> so how many you got <laughs> right right look look my only i'm on a soapbox a little bit which is not what i'm supposed to do but i really do care about families of all all uh, compositions and all, all uh, races, religions, you know, uh, whatever uh, orientation there are. So it's like, you know, this is what it's about family, man. It's like not about anything else. And, yeah. You know, I have, I have six kids and, you know, four grandkids and, you know, I could have 20. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, thanks for staying at the helm of this brand and seeing it through and making sure that it has the same love and integrity for, you know, the children's workshop or like, you know, things like the electric company, things, other brands out there that uh, right. parents can just uh, know, trust and love. We re really appreciate you getting the word out because it's like, you know, you know, the, the Airbud movie is something special, but it shouldn't be all that there is out there that, that invokes these kind of feelings. It's not Definitely. Us. we can right. we can uh, do more. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. We have a responsibility. Definitely. Yeah, I think so. I do anyways. <laughs>